Just imagine if every church started their children at an early age not just knowing Jesus but being baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues what would happen in our schools what would happen to grade point averages scholarships behavior what would happen if our children were being trained in the church how to operate in the schools by the spirit yeah I know that some homes are not what they should be but that's why we have the church that's why we have to be fiercely guarding our fellowship with the Holy Spirit because our children have a right to live their lives without the torment and the struggle that we have. They have a right to have an upper room experience at five and six and four and three. I preached my first sermon at four years old. I was four in my mother's beauty shop and I preached my first sermon. What if I had known about the Holy Ghost at five? It was a long gap between the calling and spirit baptism. And in the middle of that, there were some things that I should have never known. But I was in a church that didn't teach about the Holy Ghost. They taught me about Jesus. But they didn't teach me about the Holy Spirit. I want you to vow in your heart right now. If you have a child, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, if you have a great grandchild, or if you have any children that are attached to you, I want you to vow in your heart that you will introduce them to the Holy Spirit. That will cure behavior problems. That will help with learning disabilities. That will help with citizenship. That will help with study. That will help with, with retention of, 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 their, pro, of, their, of their, their uh, IEP. That will help them if they just had the Holy Spirit. Don't minimize the power of Holy Spirit in a child's life. Don't minimize the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't keep Holy Spirit in the church. Send your children to school speaking in tongues. Put a little bottle of oil in their book bag and teach them what to do with that oil. Practice with them how to prophesy, how to lay hands on the sick. Practice with them. And don't tell me they can't do it. If they can memorize a whole project from Beyonce and Snoop Dogg and they know all the words. Don't minimize the power of Holy Spirit in a child's life. Give them the advantage. Don't make them struggle until they get old and they smoke every kind of weed. I hear they got flavors. I didn't even know that. Orange Crush. Uh-huh, Mountain Dew. I heard all of it. Skittles. Uh-huh. Don't let them have it already got drunk on Hennessy. Give them the advantage. 
give them the advantage. That little girl that's sitting there with that little ponytail in her head right now, she is a candidate for the Holy Ghost. And just like we are saying she's a candidate for the Holy Ghost, there's a demonic plan that says, no, she's a candidate for child trafficking. No, she's a candidate for alcoholism. No, she's a candidate for rape and molestation. No, let's turn it around. She is a candidate for the Holy Ghost. That baby sitting right back there in her lap. She's a candidate for the Holy Ghost. When they are in front of their devices, find YouTube on Holy Spirit for children. Don't just put in front of them anything and let them sit there all day and all night. Let them hear speaking in tongues. Let them hear worship in the Spirit. Let them hear praying in the Spirit. We are too passive about our children being filled with the Holy Ghost. We wait until they're 18 and 21 and they've already lost their virginity. They've already tasted drugs. They've already sit at the table of the world when they're that age. When they're my grandson's age, we start talking to them about the Holy Spirit. Ask them, what did the Holy Spirit say to you? When they wake up in the morning, ask them when you're having dinner with them, is the Holy Spirit saying something to you? Put the language in their mouth. Teach them the vocabulary of Pentecost. Even before their words are well formed, start talking about the Holy Spirit around them and around their friends. Buy them coloring books that talk about the Holy Spirit. Buy them materials that teach about the Holy Spirit. We teach them everything else. And our children go to school and their peers influence them. And we wonder why they don't want to come to church. It ain't got nothing to do with the church. Stop blaming the church. You did not teach your child how to do spiritual warfare early enough. You didn't teach them about the devil. You didn't teach them about witches and warlocks. You didn't tell them that the power of Jesus' blood heals, saves, and delivers. And that they need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I want you to pray with me right now. And I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, every child that I come in contact with, I will be an ambassador for Pentecost in their life. From this day forward, in Jesus' name, amen. Put your hands together. Praise God. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together.